Having discovered Miranda's body and Sansa and Reek's escape, Ramsay mourns Miranda in his chamber, reminiscing with her corpse. Even when they met as children, Miranda showed him no fear, a singular attribute among those who knew him that he attributes to her tolerance of the even more fearsome dogs. Ramsay promises the deceased Miranda that her pain will be paid for, many times over, and seems sincere when he voices regret that she will not be there to witness his retribution for her. When Maester Walken interrupts, however, asking what to do with the body, Ramsay abruptly changes his mood as if his emotions were in act, angrily stating that she's good meat, and orders Walken to feed her to the hounds. Later, while speaking with his father, Ramsay is congratulated for his victory over Stannis but chastised for allowing Sansa and Theon to escape. Ramsay claims he has sent men and hounds to find them, but Roose counters that if Sansa does manage to escape from the north, he will disinherit Ramsay in favor of his unborn son with Walder, leaving Ramsay visibly shaken. Harold Karstark later arrives at Winterfell to notify Ramsay and Roose that Theon and Sansa have disappeared. Ramsay suggests that they march on the wall, kill John and retrieve Sansa, a suggestion Roose immediately dismisses on the basis that John is a bastard. Roose argues against Ramsay's plan on the grounds that killing the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch would only further alienate the rest of the Northern Houses, many of which are still angry with the Boltons for their part in the Red Wedding. Maester Walken announces that Walder has given birth to a baby boy. Roose calms him by promising him that he will always be his firstborn, but Ramsay stabs his father in the chest, killing him instantly. Ramsay orders Walken to announce that Roose was poisoned by their enemies, and to bring Walder and the baby to him. After glimpsing his new half-brother in the Winterfell courtyard, Ramsay leads Walder and his half-brother to the kennels and shuts the doors, setting the hounds to maul them to death. Later, Ramsay is approached by Lord Smallhorn Umber, who asks for House Bolton's support in fighting Jon Snow and the Wildlings, as last hearth is the northernmost castle in the north. Ramsay agrees on the condition that Umber pledge fealty and kneel before him. The small hon refuses both times, instead bringing Ramsay a gift in the form of a captured Osha and Rickon Stark. Upon seeing Shaggy Dog's head as proof of Rickon's identity, Ramsay welcomes the youngest Stark home. Ramsay later has Osha brought to him, and asks her about her involvement with House Stark. Osha pretends to have been a slave and says that she carried around Rickon to find a buyer for him. She also tries to seduce Ramsay, but it is only a ruse to get him distracted and kill him with the knife that is on the table next to him. As Osha lies on his lap, Ramsay reveals that Theon had told him how she helped the Stark boys escape. Osha rushes for the knife, but Ramsay takes another one out from his holster and stabs her in the neck. Osha falls to the floor and bleeds to death as Ramsay cleans the blade and watches in amusement, returning to peeling his apple with the same knife used to kill her. Heeding his father's cautious words about outright attacking the Night's Watch, Ramsay sends a letter to Jon Snow at Castle Black, where he rightly assumes Sansa is currently at. He demands that Jon return Sansa to Winterfell, or he will kill every wildling who survived the massacre at Hardhome, let his men rape Sansa, and maim and kill Jon and Rickon should he refuse. Tormund, now the de facto leader of the wildlings, says there are only 2,000 fighters among the wildlings, not enough to face the 5,000 soldiers of House Bolton. John and Sansa decide to try to unite the Houses of the North against the Boltons, as John is the son of a legitimate Warden of the North. Together with Tormund, they start planning to expel House Bolton from Winterfell and restore House Stark's hold on the North. Ramsay, Smallhorn, and Harold meet with John, Sansa, Tormund, Davos Seaworth and Lyanna Mormont to reach a peaceful solution before they battle. Ramsay offers surrender terms, saying he will pardon John and his supporters for opposing him if he bends the knee and hands Sansa over. John offers Ramsay a chance to settle their dispute in one-on-one -on -one combat but Ramsay refuses, citing that John would possibly beat him but his army will easily smash John's army. John knows that Ramsay has the numbers but wonders if his men will want to fight for him when he won't fight for them, which visibly vexes Ramsay. He then asks John and Sansa if they will let Rickon die because they are too proud to surrender. When Sansa asks for proof of Rickon's capture, Ramsay has Smallhorn throw the decapitated head of her brother's direwolf, Shaggy Dog, at her feet. As Ramsay begins to tell her what to do if she wants to save Rickon, Sansa cuts him off and tells him that he is going to die the next day, bidding him to sleep well before riding off. Ramsay threatens John and his supporters, claiming that his hounds have not been fed in seven days, before returning to Winterfell. 
The next day, as the battle begins, Ramsey arrives holding the captive Rickon. He sets him free, and commands Rickon to run across the battlefield towards John. When Rickon starts running, Ramsey begins firing arrows at him, each coming dangerously close to hitting their mark. John immediately mounts his horse to rescue Rickon, but Ramsey shoots him dead with an arrow as he is inches away from John's reach. With John now defenseless in the middle of the battlefield, Bolton archers fire volleys of arrows in his direction with the Bolton cavalry charging at him as well. The Stark cavalry begin their charge to meet the Bolton cavalry, narrowly saving John from being trampled to death and forcing them to abandon their initial battle plan. Ramsey executes a pincer movement with his infantry, completely encircling the Stark, wildling army. As the Bolton army closes in, Peter Baelish and Sander arrive with reinforcements courtesy of House Aaron. Dumbfounded and furious, Ramsey meets his gaze with Sansa's as their cavalry quickly flanks the encircling Bolton army, which is demolished. Still dumbfounded, Ramsey looks on, locking eyes with John. Now outnumbered, Ramsey retreats with his remaining allies while closely pursued by John, Tormund, and the giant one vague one da one, and closes the gates, confident in their ability to withstand siege, and readies his archers. To Ramsey's horror, however, Winterfell's gates are breached thanks to 1-1, and the remaining Bolton forces are wiped out one by one, although 1-1 is incapacitated by injuries sustained by Bolton archers. John attempts to comfort the giant but Ramsay ultimately delivers the killing blow by shooting an arrow in 1-1's eye. Having nowhere else to go and exhausted all his forces, he finally accepts John's offer to fight him one-on-one, -on -one, choosing a bow and arrow as his weapon. John grabs a fallen Mormon soldier's shield as Ramsey fires an arrow, which John blocks. Ramsey fires two more, both blocked, becoming more and more uneasy as John gets closer to him. As Ramsey prepares a fourth arrow, John smacks the bow out of his hands and strikes him with the shield with enough force to send him down. Before Ramsey can stand up, John pounces on him and proceeds to savagely beat Ramsey to a bloody pulp, severely disfiguring his face. Ramsey, however, does not fight back, instead smirking throughout the whole ordeal. John stops beating Ramsey when he notices Sansa and acknowledges that she has more right to revenge than he does. John spares Ramsey, but orders him locked up in the kennels as a prisoner. At nightfall, Ramsey, battered and only barely conscious, is accosted by Sansa. He goads her by telling her that she will never be rid of him because he is part of now. In response, Sansa tells him that he will soon be forgotten and his house will cease to exist before an ominous growl from one of his hounds, who by his own admission have not been fed for seven days, reveals his impending doom. Despite his confidence that they will never harm him, Ramsay quickly loses his composure and desperately attempts to order them to heal as they sniff at him hungrily and one tastes the blood from his face. The hounds suddenly begin to devour Ramsay, who is only able to physically scream until his mouth and throat are torn apart alongside the rest of him and he is killed. With Ramsay's death, the Starks finally retake control of Winterfell and the North, and avenge the death of Rickon and the part House Bolton played in the Red Wedding. Ramsay himself hastened the destruction of his house by murdering the rest of his kin, leaving the Bane of the North completely extinct and bringing a permanent end to the ancient feud between the Starks and the Boltons.